Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Carbigado. Welcome to today. It is an amazing day. It is overcast. Thank you, Lord. Oh my goodness. And I'm just seeking the power and the strength of God's Word as He brings it today to encourage you, to give you expectation and hope. Amen. God's hope doesn't disappoint. If you are disappointed, then the enemy's trying to bring discouragement. And God wants to bring you this hope today to know that His hope does not disappoint. So what is this week? This week is News Flash. News Flash Week. Hey, Dina, God bless you. Thank you for joining in. It is News Flash Week. Last week was getting back online. If you haven't seen all these five broadcasts, watch them. They are beyond phenomenal. Hey, Candy. And so today we begin a new week. And it is newsflash. Where does it come from? Luke 4, 43. And understand, I am writing chapter 4, the fourth dimension in the new book. Hey, Janice, God bless. Thank you, Candy and Dina. And it is the kingdom of heaven. I actually wrote on it in 2014 in God's Bible School of Prophets in the fourth dimension of Albert Einstein. And also in God's Bible Healing of the Soul, in January 2015 and so those two teachings from those different schools are going to be in chapter 4 of the new book the forbidden fruit the spiritual dis-ease and you're gonna love it it is beyond phenomenal and so as I make mention beginning in chapter 3 you're gonna see a lot of fours with the fourth dimension and the kingdom of heaven and it is gonna be beyond phenomenal and so this is news flash week Luke 4, 43, where Jesus sent the disciples to preach the good news of the kingdom of God. Amen. And that's what this week is. And there, there's your fours, four and 43, which 40 plus three is 43. And Luke 4, okay, three is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God is one. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Colossians 2, 9 and 10 in Jesus was the fullness of the deity of God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And we being in Christ have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Hey, Ashley, hey, Beck, God bless y'all. And I see someone else joining in. God bless you all. And so this is News Flash Week, Luke 4, 43, that Jesus sent the disciples <coughs> to preach the good news of the kingdom of God. And so we're going to look at God bringing that message to our heart. And a lot of people don't understand that. And you're going to get it so profoundly as God has opened wide open the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Scripture in the new book, The Forbidden Fruit, The Spiritual Disease. And Rich was actually editing it yesterday, chapter three. He's editing chapter three, which I did finish. And he's still amazed, beyond amazed. And I cannot wait for you to read it. And so, as I have been doing hormone replacement therapy, I'm using it as an analogy of heaven replacement therapy, which means places in which we are deficient. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the what? World. So you got two kingdoms, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of the world. Those are the two kingdoms on earth. And as we repent, we turn away from the kingdom of the world and we turn towards the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Hey, Deborah, God bless you. And so this is Good News Week, Luke 4, 43, where we're being sent to preach the news of the kingdom of God. And why is this so important? Because, and, and also God gave me an acronym for FLASH. But remember, this is News Flash Week. I cannot wait to see what he brings to us. Amen. I know you're excited as well. Hey, Carol. And so, Flash is the Father's love announcing salvation, the salvation of heaven. The Father's love announcing the salvation of heaven and five is grace. Isn't that amazing? And so, what is the salvation of heaven? Jesus Christ! He was crucified before the foundations of the earth, of the world. He was crucified before it, which means it was already planned in heaven. And what is the Lord's prayer? Hey, Margaret. God, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, what? On earth as it is in heaven, amen. Hey, uh, I see Tammy, hey Tammy, God bless you. And let me just give you an update. I just have to throw this out there 
for you women uh, in regards to hormone replacement therapy. This is day five of me doing the hormone replacement therapy patches, estrogen progesterone combo. And I cannot emphasize, you know, the other day I was saying to God secretly, and I even mentioned it to Rich, I'm like, God said the curse was for the woman was the pain during childbirth. And I told him, I'm like, I'm just talking to God and I'm like, God, I really think the curse is perimenopause and menopause because childbirth was much easier than this. And you know, I just have to emphasize to you women, if you're paranoid, if you're thinking other people are talking about you, if you're offended, if you're having trouble taking your thoughts captive, it is because most likely there could be an estrogen deficiency in your brain, as I brought information last week, that estrogen receptors in the brain in both the hypothalamus and hippocampus cause, they are almost like a fuel source, a hormonal fuel source for your brain. And as I started taking HRT last week, it was like a switch flipped. And I'm not telling you to take HRT, do your research and talk to your doctor, your medical provider. And it was like a switch flipped. And it was like I had complete charge over my mind and my writing productivity doubled after starting HRT. And I just didn't know until hindsight about the different deficiencies of estrogen that have been taking place over the last several years. So you women, check with your doctor, amen. And last night I was praying for women. And y'all please, please pray for women going through this because I can tell you that, hey y'all, that I could see how women would be so overcome mentally that they would just want to end their life. I'm, I kid you not. I just thank God that I've got a very supportive and encouraging husband <laughs> and that I'm able to uh, have that grace and be on this hormone replacement therapy, which we're gonna compare to Heaven's Replacement Therapy. So what is Heaven's Replacement Therapy? The good news of the kingdom of God that as it is in heaven, right? It is on earth, just like the plans that Jesus was crucified before the foundations of the world. Those plans were made in heaven. And as it is in heaven, it is in earth. Now, let me tell you what, and I'll get into it greater with scripture in the book, as in Romans 8, whom God has predestined for his glory. He justifies. And so God has a plan for all of us. He has a destiny. He has a destination. But many are called and few are chosen. And those few are the ones who know the good news of the kingdom of God. That the Father's love is announcing salvation from heaven, which is the person Jesus Christ. The Father's love is announcing the salvation of heaven. And so Jesus sent the disciples to preach the news of a new kingdom because there had been only one kingdom once the fall happened in the garden with Eve and Adam and they partook of the forbidden fruit. A new kingdom came into the world to hijack mankind's intention and you're gonna get it more and more in chapter three that is titled Revival Intention, okay? And how the enemy hijacked Adam and Eve's intention to bring the new kingdom Whatever has your attention controls your intent. And so, for example, as I look back, as hindsight is twenty twenty, where the enemy just had me, it was like I woke up from this nightmare, but I didn't know I was in a nightmare. I don't know if any of y'all can identify with that. Y'all let me know if you can identify. You know, I didn't know I was in a nightmare. I was just with joy. The joy of the Lord was my strength every day. Thank you, Jesus. And I had been getting through symptoms that I was totally clueless about in relation to different changes in a woman in this time of life. And I did not know until I started getting on HRT and those deficiencies were met. And then I was just like, woo, like this wind. And like God says in Isaiah 4, 
five and six, he's going to be a cloud over us like he was in the wilderness over his people. And he's also going to be a pavilion to protect us from the heat and the score of the scorching sun. And I feel this wind and right now it's overcast. And so the heat of the sun in the summer, it's not on me, just <sighs> wearing me out. I feel refreshed. I feel revived. And so my attention, besides doing Walking with Wisdom here on Facebook Live and walking, my attention is focused on the message, okay? And what message has your attention? Is it the message of the world, which the enemy will wear out the saints with, or is it the message of heaven, the kingdom of God, amen? So this is where we're gonna do News Flash Week. It takes, as you'll see in chapters seven through 10, as I bring you a new modality, in my opinion, a therapeutic outcome in relation to PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And again, if you need psychiatric help, seek psychiatric help and get that need met. There are times for psychiatric help, okay? I used to be an outpatient psychotherapist, so I would know. Good morning. Good morning. But there's gonna be a modality through scripture and truth that God has given me. Good morning. Good morning. That God's given me to help people with PTSD. Now I've done cognitive behavior therapy in the 90s, personally, through books, self-help, and also went to see a counselor. And oh my goodness, it gave me some revelation, but it wasn't what changed me, okay? John 8, 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. It's the truth that changes you, okay? And again, as I talk about in God's Father's School, the prophet session for the spirit of knowledge on Amazon, in chapters seven and eight about the chronic stress state, which is what the enemy does with the message of the world is the chronic stress state, and that wears you out and causes glucocorticoids to be released from the HPA axis, the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, where the message is, oh my goodness, I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to survive and there's no thriving. And that's not the good news. The good news is not surviving. Listen, I was trying to do that in a very abusive marriage when I was 19 years old for nine months. And let me tell you what, it absolutely, messed me up and it and I it, it traumatized me surviving equals trauma right it's not thriving okay there's no ability to grow there's no news being announced and instead you're just trying to exist and survive day to day and that is not God God's good news of the kingdom of God causes you to thrive it causes you to abound in power over the power of the kingdom of the world. And all of uh, all of Luke 4 shows us that. Jesus overcomes the enemy in the wilderness at the beginning of Luke 4. And at the end of Luke 4, he sends out his disciples to overcome and preach the message of overcoming through the good news of the kingdom of God, okay? And so this is where we're gonna end. It is only the love of God. John, 1 John 4, 18, where God's perfect love drives out fear and it casts it out where there's no thought or dread of punishment. Now, if you have fear operative in an area of your soul, that is an indicator that you are not thriving in that part of your self-image. Instead, you are being overcome, okay? And so in that area, you have to have the good news of the kingdom of God, a new kingdom, okay? And so as we do part one of News Flash Week, the Father's love announcing sal the salvation of heaven, which is the person in Jesus Christ, this is where we're gonna end, saints of God. Let's start with the basics. What news are you allowing into your ears and into your eyes? Are you reading the world news more than the Bible, the good news. Are you going back and forth between the good news and the world news? Okay, so let's start out day one of this week. 
cut down on the world news and pray the Father's Prayer. This week, the Lord's Prayer, as in Luke 11, that Jesus says from verses 1 through 4. When it, isn't that interesting, 1 through 4? Pray that prayer and then see the power of the kingdom of God, the power of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Wait on God. Okay. Be still and wait on him. Amen. God bless you all. I love you. Have an amazing day.